or in the forest today. Look at this view. Updates, transfer updates in the forest with Simon. Uh, but look at this view. Like, look at these, listen to these sounds. Look at these views. Everything is amazing. And everything is amazing also when it comes to Roma's transfer news. Because today, I want to talk about who most probably will take place in becoming Tammy Abraham's backup option, Tammy Abraham's backup reserve. And we're speaking about an Italian national team, Balotti, who we all know really well. But before talking about Balotti, I want to talk about Vinaldo because obviously we talked about many times how Thiago Pinto and Mourinho want Vinaldo to join Roma as soon as possible. And, uh, you know, this is why you're probably hearing Vinaldo linked with Roma and the only, re you know, the only thing which has been talked about all things Roma in these last couple of days is obviously Gini Wijnaldum. Now, there are basically contacts every day. The only problem is that there is still no agreement found between the two sides. So PSG have agreed to give him on loan. The only thing that they need to work on, which many journalists are saying that they're all optimistic about because the two sides like each other, the relationship is good. Um, so I don't think there'll be any problems, but the only minor detail that they are going to work on uh, and that they still need to uh, kind of agree on is what percentage of Gini Wijnaldum's salary will both uh, teams pay? Now, Roma wants a 50% um, contribution from PSG, and then 50% they pay. PSG kind of want uh, Roma to pay most of it, if not all of it. So this is the only thing that they're going to discuss in the next couple of hours. Roma has landed yesterday in Tel Aviv for the friendly match against Tottenham uh, tomorrow and PSG has also landed in Tel Aviv in Israel because they are playing their Super Cup against Nantes there and that is a perfect destination, a perfect location for more direct contacts and many Sky Sports journalists as well as Fabrizio Romano are saying that in Israel the big agreement will be found and that Gini Wijnaldum will fight her home in the next couple of days. I think if you ask me, this deal will be completed in the next two to three days and then we can all sing together. ta ra ta ra ta 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 ra ta ra Gini Wijnaldum ta ra ta ra ta ra ta ra Gini Wijnaldum Imagine the Olympico singing that, but it would be insane. You know, Gini is a wonderful player. We discussed about his experience and what he could bring to the team. So that is definitely something that will be most probably ended in the next two to three days. Now we're speaking about Belotti, who, if you ask me immediately, before giving a general comment, if Thiago Pinto manages to get Belotti as a backup striker when it comes to Tammy Abraham for free, again, Thiago Pinto's a legend. I'm calling that. Now, what is happening? Two days ago, Mourinho presented the squad, which was going to leave for Israel. Veritu was missing, apparently for an injury problem, as if. Corliss Perez was missing because apparently he only wants Spain and Celta Vigo are interested in him and he only wants to move to Celta Vigo. But Thiago Pinto does want to give him an opinion deal and Celta Vigo right now have just proposed a loan. And the third player, which has been left out of the Israel squad list, was Elder Shimorodov, ladies and gentlemen. What does this mean? This means that Mourinho does not have faith in Shimorodov anymore. This means that Mourinho has understood that having Shimorodov as a backup op option to Tammy means absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And Mourinho is kind of realizing that the 40 million we spent to buy that as Beckist and Dynamite was the most wasted money ever. Mourinho left him off the squad list, and this is a very big message. A few days ago, his agent has said, I'm not excluding anything. You know, a few months ago, we were discussing how Mourinho, you know, had faith in Shimrodov and kept his eyes on Shimrodov as being his backup striker. But a few days ago, his agent said, I'm not excluding anything. Yesterday, Mourinho left him out of the squad list. And why? Because in the friendly matches against... Um, in, in Portugal, against Sunderland, Portimonense, against uh, Sporting Lisbon, against all of these teams, Shomorodov never gave a full impact. And he had a lot of chances. You know, Tammy rested for a lot of these friendly matches to give space to Felix and Shomorodov. Felix is young, it's understandable, but Shomorodov isn't. And Shomorodov is the big, big X of this team. Especially because it's a benefit for Tammy if he leaves and we get Belotti because... Yes, Tammy wants to play, 
the most matches as possible, but he obviously needs rests as well. And Tammy knows that if Shimorodov is the one to give him a rest, then Roma won't go anywhere. So it's also a benefit when it comes to Tammy Abraham as well. But Shimorodov of the squad list is big. In the last couple of hours, what are people saying? The lotty close to Roma. That is what they're saying. Uh, now, three clubs are interested in Shimorodov. Sampdoria, Bologna and uh, Torino. And Torino is the big one. Because just like we were talking about a you know, mega axis, transfer axis between Roma and Atalanta a few uh, weeks ago, now there could be an axis, a transfer market axis between Torino and Roma. Because Torino really wants Shimorodov. You know, now that Belotti has gone because he's a free agent, they lost Bremer, Torino's living a very complicated situation. They want Shimorodov. And they're gonna point their eyes strong on Shimorodov. And Roma can get their ex-player, their ex-captain, El Gallo Bellotti. Um, so, you see, if you ask me, this is a massive yes, because one, you're guaranteed with Bellotti more goals, you're guaranteed more contributions. Why? Because Bellotti knows this league really well. He's Italian. He plays for the Italian national team. He knows the country. He knows the fan bases. He knows the teams. This is why, if we can get Belotti on a free, not only Thiago Pinto, who set his reputation with every Roma fan by being an absolute legend, but trust me, it would be a massive benefit, not just for Tammy, for the entire club in general. Try to get Belotti, it would be massive. You know, if we you know, got Dybala, Matic, Chilik, if we get Vinaldi, if we get Belotti on a free, and if we then get Senezi and potentially another defender, it's going to be great. Like, we are going to point our eyes very, very high this season. If not, you know, top three. So, it's, it's looking really good. The transfer market is looking really promising. So, you know, we ha kind of have breaking news when it comes to Shimorodov because he's been left out of this squad. Something just fell in my head. Ow. Um, but... It's just the difference between the two players, which is something to emphasize. Because when we bought Shomorodov, you see, I think a lot of times Roma rushed transfer market operations. And they bought players which, if you ask Roma fans at the start, they would have gone like, wait, who are you talking about? If we buy these players, like, who are you talking about players? It just, you immediately are guaranteed to not get a massive impact from these players. Don't get me wrong, 2% of situations where you buy an unknown player, then he becomes a master class of a player. But in many cases, you need to buy players which you know how they play, you know why they play, and you know how they can impact your team. When Shimrodov came, Without even seeing him play, I was like, this guy is going to flop. The same with Vino. At least I know how Belotti plays, and at least I can expect how he will play. So this is definitely something to point out. Speaking about Vino, this is something very good to kind of end the stream on. Feyenoord, <coughs> excuse me, are really interested in Vino. Like, I don't know why. This is a very big question. But they want Vino in their team. And who does Roma want that plays for Feyenoord is Senezi, who Feyenoord right now are valuing around 15 million euros. Thiago Pinto's objective is to insert Vina in this deal to make the price for Senezi drop down and then the assault will happen. And if we can get Senezi for Vina, Belotti for Shimorodov, and all of these exchanges, our team goes from here to here it will have a massive, drastic change. So the transfer market is looking really promising. And, you know, I will keep you updated in the next couple of days when it comes to Gini. Uh, people are saying that the deal will be completed earliest Saturday, if not tonight, Saturday or if not Sunday, so that then the entire of next week, Mourinho can have him, you know, start the communication, start letting him know the players and just start collaborating with his potentially new teammates. So Gini is definitely something which is coming to an end. If Shimorodov leaves, which it looks like he is because he's been left out of the squad list and everything, his agent spoke and Mourinho isn't convinced about him, then Belotti comes in. And if it isn't Melotti, um, 
because some other clubs are interested in him, like Juventus I know are interested in Belotti. It's going to be Muriel as a backup striker for Tammy. And but right now, probability say Belotti more than Muriel. And if we can get out Vigna to bring Senizi, and you add all of these players to Dybala, Matic and Chilik, we're pointing really high, ladies and gentlemen. Our eyes are going our thoughts are going. Can I sneak a Serie A title? I'd like to say, and I'd like to repeat again, that isn't our objective coming into the season. If we're in a position to point and to win the league, Mourinho will ask everything out of these players to try and push for the league title. But coming into the season, Mourinho himself knows that we're not fighting for the league. If we kind of exaggerate our objectives, objectives will never come to an end. Last season, it was to win the Conference League, and we did so. This season is to reach top four, and it's looking very promising compared to other teams, which are our biggest opponents when it comes to doing this. Next year, maybe, we can think, you know, think about the league. This is not excluding that we can win the league, because this sport is a sport where anything is possible. But coming into the season, the day before Salernitana, Mourinho is going and knows that this team is not built to win the league. If we do, then it would be amazing. But right now, let's stick with our top four objective. It's looking really promising. I'm so happy to follow all of these transfer news because it's looking amazing. Genie next. And as I said at the start, we can all sing Genie Weinadzem, la, 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 la. Genie Weinadzem. Um, so yeah, ladies and, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I will keep you updated. I hope you enjoyed this massive scenery. Simon in the forest speaking about transfer market. So if you haven't already, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Quite a quick live stream today. But uh, we don't have real big updates. This is just a rumor going on. Uh, the real big update is Genie, but no new updates in today. Uh, and, you know, in these last 24 hours. Um, and... Um, and yeah, in the next couple of days, I have filmed and edited and uh, everything is ready. I will be publishing my ranking Sarah home kits from best to worst. And then in the next couple of days, I will also publish my Sarah predictions 2022-2023. So, you know, don't forget to turn notifications on so you will be notified every time I post a video. Also, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button in this video and comment in the comments what you think about Belotian potentially and Shimrod about. Senna's Yin and Vina potentially out. And who was the last one? Um, oh yeah, these players. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram or here or there in the orange box below over at Simon underscore ASR underscore. I will catch you soon. Da yeah,